Hey guys, so I'm so sick of doing that as an intro. Let's just not do that anymore, okay? Alright, YouTube, I'm back. I'm not on my phone. I try to get up early enough to where I'd have natural light over here coming through so I don't look so grainy and all that stuff. I am looking at a couple of vlogging cameras that are very expensive, so I want to make sure when I get one that it is one that's going to work for me. So, there's that. Uh, I was going to do the YouTuber, the new YouTuber tag, and I had that video already ready, but honestly, once I looked at it and listened to myself, some of the questions just didn't pertain to me. I'm 42, so, you know, what are you going to do after school? Just, it just don't work for me. Yeah. So I thought I'd just do a really quick uh, get to know me kind of video. Um, I am 42 years old. I'm the mother of five boys and I have a wonderful husband who is a fabulous tattoo artist. I live in Kentucky and I am country. I do not like country music. Surprise. But anyhow, I posted a video yesterday. And, oh my goodness. I knew it wouldn't get a lot of views. Really, I just posted it just to kind of keep it for myself on here. A lot of times I'll do that. I should have just made it private. But anyway, um, I sound like the biggest redneck hillbilly on earth. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that a lot of times, because I will do this, if I, if I know somebody in real life and then I'll watch a video that they've made on YouTube or something or anywhere else, I'm like, they don't sound the same. Are they trying to act different? And I want to make this clear for anybody that's on here that is from my Facebook because I make a lot of Facebook uh, videos, or I used to. Now it's, you know, I've came over here to YouTube to stay. Um, but I feel like a lot of times people are, are like, why does she not sound as country? And I know I will never get rid of the country in me, and I'm not trying to, but I'm just saying I don't think I sound as country on the videos I'm making right now, like the one, this one as I do on the chicken video that I made. it's And it's not because I'm trying to act any different or be somebody I'm not. It's just that when you are talking to a large group of diverse people that are from all over the place, if I talked like and just let it rip and just, just you know what I mean, then there's a good chance people won't even understand what I'm saying. So I have to be very aware. That's why I stumble over my words a lot of times because I'm trying to make sure that I'm being crystal clear with what I'm saying so you guys can understand me. I know I watch a lot of people um, from the UK and, and, and different areas, and a lot of times I'll have to go back and re-listen because I'm not sure exactly what they said. And that's not a bad thing at all, but I'm just saying sometimes when you have an accent, you have to be very aware of how you're saying things so that everybody can understand what you're saying. So I'm not being a fake because I'm not acting as country. I'm country. Trust me. Believe me. But anyway. With that said, let's move on. Um, as far as YouTube, I started YouTube technically. I made my first channel November 2008, and I really regret not sticking with that channel, you know, as quickly as YouTube has grown, and it probably could have been really awesome. I used to do a lot of videos with my sister-in-law, Megan. She's so funny, and, um, and we, and actually, I lost the password. I recently remembered it. <sighs> So anyway, so I've been on YouTube quite a while, so I'm not new per se, but you know, of course this channel's new, it's just been up since February, and I had a couple little tiny channels in between time, you know, that I would make just so I could subscribe to a lot of people, and a lot of you I have been subscribed to and watching for a long, long time, and a lot of you not so long, but I love each and every one of you, I love YouTube, it's such a great place to come, especially, you know, aside from just loving to watch people's videos in general, it's a great place if you're getting ready to buy a product, whether it be makeup or a vacuum cleaner, you can come on here and look it up and get people's reviews on stuff. And I love an honest review. And that's something on this channel, we're going to do lots of different things. There's no one set thing for this channel. But what we're going to do here, if we ever do review a product, I promise you, I will give you the honestest, honestest, see, there's the country in me now, the most honest opinion I can about that product. I'm not going to just have you go out and buy something and waste your money because I am frugal. That's a nice way to put it. But I don't like to waste money. So I will give you my honest opinion on anything that I ever use or review. And thank you, Holly, uh, if you're watching this. She has made it possible for me to try Blue Apron. Um, so that will be coming, I think, July the 2nd or something like that. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about it and how it works out. And I'll show you what comes in the package and the box and all that good stuff. Also, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and then go back to Thursday's giveaway video because I did a 100 subscriber give 
I did a 100 subscriber giveaway and the rules to that are number one you have to be subscribed to this channel and number two you have to leave a comment under Thursday's video called the 100 subscriber giveaway video. You can leave a comment under this one or any other one too, but that's the one that you have to leave a comment under in order to enter the contest. And I showed you guys briefly in a really dark, crappy phone video what the prize was going to be. I was going to do an Ulta gift card, and then I thought, what if somebody doesn't have an Ulta near them? And then I thought, well, they could have used it online, but ultimately, ultimately. And I showed you guys already, but I'll just show you quickly in case you didn't see. Uh, this is what you're going to win. It's from the body shop, and it's a uh, body scrub, body wash, body butter, body this, body that. And it's coconut, and it is, I looked and checked, it is extra, what is it? extra virgin coconut, unrefined organic. It's good. So it is organic, certainly. So that's good. And I heard that they are a cruelty-free company, so that is also good. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make this because, you know, that... I'm not going to do a tag because those are just, those are just, I just said that twice and we'll say it again. Those are just used up old questions. I'm, mm -mm. I just want to kind of let you not, guys know in general who I am and, you know, I'm just a Christian mother of five and a gorgeous husband and a blessed life and, you know, I live in a beautiful city. It's small, but it's beautiful, and I love it, and I love the people in it, and I love meeting new people, and I love people all over the world, and I just love everybody, and I just want to have a good time on this channel. We're going to review things. We're going to talk about decluttering and saving money, and we're just going to chit-chat sometimes, and uh, we're going to talk about hair and just all kinds of crazy stuff, so you never know. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys on here all day, so I just want to check in with you and let you know that Thursday we will be finding out who the winner is so be sure to subscribe if you haven't like i said you can go back and you can enter the contest uh giveaway and stuff but uh i'm gonna get off here and get my day started or i might go back to sleep i don't know i haven't decided yet but anyway i love you guys each and every one of you even if i don't know you i still love you and i appreciate you all and uh yeah so i'm gonna get off here and go wash clothes i think if I don't go back to sleep, I'm going to wash clothes. And my son has walking pneumonia. And something real quick I wanted to say. We went to the swimming pool. It's been, jeez, it's been going on two weeks ago. But right after we got back from the pool, I noticed within a day or two that he started coughing. And I just burped, sorry. But he started coughing at night. Every single night. I thought, you know what, he just has allergies. Now this went on for a good 10 days, 12 days. And then finally, it got to the point he couldn't sleep for coughing. And I know I waited too long because I'm always, you know, I really, I like to avoid medicines and, and doctors as much as possible. But took him. He has walking pneumonia. What I think happened is we put a life jacket on him when he was in the pool because he can't swim. He was seven at the time. He's eight now. He had a birthday. But anyway, he, at some point, the life jacket, the arms of it went way further up than they should have been. And there was big gapped holes here between his arms and the top of the life jacket. And his face, it was pushing him forward into the water. And he had water and he was coughing. And first I thought he was playing, but then I was like, whoa, wait. So we took the life jacket off and he was, he was a lot better. I hate to say it a lot. I'm not saying kids are better off without life jackets, but he was better off without it in that shallower end of the pool. He can maneuver because that life jacket was just not working out. Anyway, I do believe that he ingested water into his lungs, and I think that's what caused him to have walking pneumonia. I really, really do. So I had read a lot about or, you know, saw different things come across my Facebook about the dry drowning and stuff. What a horrible thing. And I'm not saying he was dry drowning, but I'm saying that I really am more cautious now that, you know, I feel like he has ended up with walking pneumonia because of, you know, getting water in there so you want to really watch your kids at the pool and i know that you all probably do but i'm just saying just take a little extra precaution and if they start coughing after you went to the pool and you know that they did get water down in there in their lungs definitely take them to get checked out because you don't want to wait because walking pneumonia is not fun bless his little heart he last night is the first time he has slept good in like way way over a week or two so i'm just so thankful that we got it figured out and he has an excellent doctor pediatric associates it's his doctors and they're wonderful but anyway i'm not gonna ramble guys i just want to throw that in there really quick while it was on my mind i already put a post about it on facebook but all of you aren't on my facebook obviously so anyway so i'm gonna go and get my day started but again i love you guys i thank you appreciate each and every one of you so i will talk to you guys tomorrow next video